are taking a very significant exam for some of you because um, for a lot of you this matters a lot like in other districts and areas I think getting a five is more about just the pride of it all you know um, being able to say that uh, but for a lot of you I think it's a little more than that like I think some of you are thinking in terms of like can I use this um, to help me not have to take a class in college which would ultimately save me more money and ultimately save my parents more money and so there's a lot more pressure I think sometimes and your writing has improved a lot this year like copious amounts <laughs> um, and it's not it's not been because I I just fed you stuff it's because you worked really hard at it uh, in my normal classes we've written maybe five solid essays this year you've written over six in the past two weeks because you worked so hard at everything, there is, there's been a significant level of improvement, and it's been you. And at the end of the day, like you have to remember that if you don't do as well as you wanted to do on this test, it's gonna be okay. And like, that's what you, you really need to remember more than anything, because no matter what grade you get, you've worked hard, and so you can't ask for more than that. You go in there, you're gonna try your hardest, whether you end up with one paragraph to turn in, right? Or your full, your full five paragraphs. Solid one paragraph. Your so, it's a solid one paragraph that you give me, Joelle, every time. Like it's, it's a beautiful one paragraph, and I love it. It's it's a like nine out of nine on their essay scale. If you just had four more paragraphs to turn in, but you try so hard, and at the end of the day, like what you can't ask for more than that, right? And I, I need you guys to know like you're, you're gonna be okay. That like I don't I don't want to downplay grades or working hard because those things are really important. Like math and, and English especially, they're important to, to try hard at because they give you critical thinking skills and they, they teach you problem solving skills that you're gonna use out there in your life. And like the more organized you are and the more poised you are and the more confident you are in your ability to present information effectively, uh, when you walk into a room, people are gonna want you on board. And so you establish a ton of credibility with other people by being really adept in your English skills. And so all those things are really important. And good grades, you know what, it, it, it shows people that you follow through, that you don't just start something and then quit. And that says a lot about your character. It says a lot about your discipline. It says a lot about your responsibility. So those things are important, but they're not the end all. And, and English isn't all there is. And math isn't all there is in life. And I think that there's a danger with you guys, especially in putting so much value on it that you find your worth in it. And then when something doesn't go your way, it like just devastates you. And so I just want you to remember <laughs> that like if things don't always turn out exactly as you want you're gonna be okay like if you just wait it out things find a way of working themselves out I didn't get into my first college choice I wanted to play soccer for UCLA like division one school I ended up running cross-country for Loyola Marymount which wasn't even on my radar when I was like applying for colleges and I just want you to know that like it ended up okay and it was disappointing but it ended up okay and I really think that sometimes like we forget to wait it out because we get so caught up in the moment more than anything I want you to remember who you are because it's way more important than what you've accomplished and it's way more important than your accolades take a step back like wide angle your life you're competing on this AP exam and your SATs in this AP class, you're competing against people in the nation who have had nannies and tutors and summer internships and summer camps and summer enrichment and people who have helped them in addition to their parents and tons of extra study space. And some of you, like, some of you don't even have a desk at home to study on, you know? Like, you don't have a quiet space where you can go and sit down and, and be like focused entirely because there's so much activity going on or the space is limited and you can't exactly hop on a bus in your neighborhood at night and go to the local library because it's not exactly the safest thing to do, right? So in the midst of like things that have been difficult, 
you have stayed afloat. Like you've stayed competitive with those people with all the extra stuff that they've had because of their socioeconomic position. Do you get that? Like you've stayed at their level, which says a ton about you. Like it says a ton about your character. Like it says that you have found a way to persevere in the midst of adversity. So therefore, you are getting trained in that. So I know that you're gonna be fine. Like I know that all of you in here are gonna be fine in life because you've, you've been raised that way and you've survived. And so therefore, I know that you're going to be okay. But I think some of you need to know that you're gonna be okay. Um, and that's what like I wanted to leave you with before you take this test. Like some of you just need to relax because you panic and you, you just don't end up writing what I think you could because there's so much pressure on you to be absolutely perfect. You know what, all of you are above average. Be above average on this because you will be okay. You like everything's gonna work out, <laughs> and that's that's the first thing that I wanted to tell you um, is like you're not always gonna get the, the score that you want, but you're gonna be okay regardless. Okay, I hope that some of you get fives, and I hope a ton of you get threes. But if it doesn't turn out as you wanted, and if you get a grade that's a two or a one, it's not gonna break you. Like you're gonna be fine in life. In in high school, I didn't take the AP language exam because it was seventy dollars, and I didn't believe that I would get a, a three on it. I just didn't trust myself enough. And if I had to pay that money, then I just said, I'm just not gonna do it. So already you're ahead of me in that because you're trying. And I was like, I can't do it. So like, that says something, like you're already scoring higher than me. I got a zero. Like, if you got a two, guess what? You scored higher than your teacher. <laughs> people, like when I look back on high school, people may remember that I was an athlete they don't remember like how high I jumped in the high jump in track. They don't remember my mile times my sophomore year. They don't remember like the state tournament in soccer like my senior year. They don't remember those things. But what they do remember when they look back on high school, they remember who I was to them. Like they remember how I treated them. And that is way more important than any type of accolade or accomplishment or award that you get. Because that defines who you are. And, and so like the best advice before all else that I can possibly give you, because and it does have to do with this test tomorrow, is number one, just be kind. And I don't use the word good because I hate you guys using the word good in your essays because it's so broad because it can like, it was a good beer or you know, like that's, Jesus is good. Like there's so <laughs> many different like <laughs> definitions for that that I don't, I mean, most people in their own context believe, yeah, yeah, I was good. Like, I was good to that person. But kind holds with it, like, an attitude of thoughtfulness and consideration. And when you're kind, you're thinking of them before you. And there's this strange paradox in life that if you take and take and take and serve yourself only, um, which is a very American mentality, like me first, right? But if all you do is take and take and take, you end up feeling really empty at the end of it all. But for some reason, when you're giving and serving and like making sure others are okay, somehow you feel so full, like you're overflowing um, with that fullness. And I think it's because you find value when you pour yourself out, because you see that people need you and that you're worth something. And so when I say be kind, I don't just mean to your friends, like I mean be kind to like the difficult people. Be kind to the ones who like aren't in your clique. Like Chill. don't just smile, <laughs> but like ask them how they are and mean it. You know, like find out how they're doing. Like just care about people because it's not gonna hurt you in life. It's never ever gonna like set you back. It's only gonna help you. And you don't know what you might do with just that one small thing, because it leaves a fingerprint on someone, it's a good fingerprint, it's not a shove, <laughs> which is like when you take from people, right? It's like you're punching them, versus like just leaving your like fingerprints on this world, because the truth is, like you're, this life is a breath, and it goes so fast, and, and when you look back, like you gotta ask yourself, what do I want my legacy to be? Because people aren't gonna remember what you do. They're gonna forget that. They're gonna forget all the cool things that you did. Or, but they're not gonna forget how you were to them. And so there, I don't ever wanna play, downplay the importance of being really kind to people around you. Um, and it's only gonna help you in your future, in your life. And, and people will look back and that's what they'll remember of you. And that's a good, I don't want people to remember me as like a teacher or a soccer player or like 
a runner. Like, that's not what I want people, like, who cares about that stuff at the end of the day, right? But I want them to know, like, man, that person had a good heart, or that person really tried to, like, make things better. And so, if you walk into life, and you are that way to people, when they leave, their, their season of life with you, they're gonna know, like, hey, Lupe was there in that season, and you know what, my life's better now because of it. Like, that's, that's what I want you guys to do when you go out in life. Not just score awesome on an, on an AP exam. Not just that, I mean, that's important, but not just that. Um, and the second thing that leads me into that is like, it's okay not to do great, like, at everything, right? But the important thing is, is that you strive for excellence in anything, never mediocrity. And I know I'm preaching to the choir here because most of you, although you have moments of laziness, you want to be excellent at things. And I appreciate that. Like, you don't want to just exist in this life, right? You don't want to just let stand by and let things happen to you and live your life idly because your life goes by very quickly. Like, you want to move, and I love that. I want you guys to not just be like a breeze, you know, that kind of like hangs out and you know, it's just there, but I want you to be a storm, like, through life. I just want you to tear things up and leave them better than when you came. Like, just rearrange stuff and go out and do something. Like, I want you to build. I want you to create. I want you to, like, study so that you can, like, do more things. I don't want you just to exist and then die, right? So, like, be excellent, and you may not always attain that, but you'll at least attain more than if you strove for mediocrity get me on that like it's always going to be less than the bar that you set but if you set a bar for excellence you're not going to be so bad at the end of the day and then the last thing that I want you to remember as you go into this test is um, if you it's, it's about your perspective too you need to see everything as an opportunity um, there will be times in your life where really sucky things happened uh, happen to you uh, there will be times where like Tragedy might knock you off of your feet. Like, you don't know, right? And in those times, it's legitimate to be sad and to grieve about those things. But there are other things, such as, like, oh, like striving for an award that you don't get, you know, or your accomplishment that you didn't quite achieve, or your grade that you didn't quite get. Like, yeah, it's okay to be disappointed, but you can't let those things dictate like your happiness, you can't let those things dictate who you are and your worth because inevitably something in your life is going to let you down. And if you place all your faith in that one thing, you're going to just be a wreck. And so the last thing is just to see your life like as an opportunity. Like I failed, I get back up and I move on. Like, oh well. Like, look back at, you've failed before at stuff. And guess what? You're okay right now. So, like, if things don't turn out exactly as you want, I want you to remember that look at your past. You're going to be okay. And so, like, you can be grumpy and, like, angry, and you can be a grumposaurus about everything and bitter. And But you need to remember, think of the people you like to hang out with. Like, you don't like the Eeyores in the world that, like, oh, life is a bummer, everything sucks. Like, you don't like being around those people, right? Like, after a while, it's like, come on, like, buck up, buttercup. Like, you're going to be okay in life. Like, it's not that bad. And you don't like complainers, right? And so don't be one. It, you know, things suck, and you can mention it, and it, but don't let that dictate who you are, where you walk through life, where everything is half empty, everything is not what you wanted, everything sucks. Like, on the flip side, this is the deck of cards you were dealt. What are you going to do with it? Okay, maybe it wasn't like a Paris Hilton life that you got handed, right? But you got a pretty damn good one, and you can do something with it. And so, it's like, well, where do we go from here? And don't forget that, like... Life's an adventure. It's not a series of accomplishments. Like, it's an adventure. Like, go out and explore and be responsible on that and <laughs> have a couple boundaries for yourself, right? But, like, this is your life, you know? You get one of them. Right now, you're Linda. Right now, you are Ileana. This is, like, who you are, and this is, like, your life. So, like, don't miss it. You, you know, there's just so much that you can do when you work hard, which you always do, all of you in here. There's so much you can do when you plan. I just don't want you to let a boyfriend define you, a bad circumstance define you, a lack of a grade that you wanted, 
or a job opportunity that you missed. Like, I don't want those things to define you because you've got to remember who you are. Like, you've accomplished so much already, and I know you're going to be fine. So please don't worry about this test. Just go in, try your hardest, make sense, and finish the job. <laughs> but at the end of the day, close that book and say, I did it. I worked my ass off. And you know what? Tomorrow I've got a field trip, and I can just get to play, and, and life's going to be okay. So that's all I want to tell you. Okay.